Alright, so yesterday I said I was going to make a video for, well, for that, the confettis. Um, I probably put that video right in front of here because stuff just wasn't working and, well, when stuff doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yesterday I also said I was going to make a tutorial for this. And since it's a very, very simple thing to do that pretty much anyone that does particles in UE4 is going to be able to do. But it's also something that, as someone that is starting to do particles, um, took me not too long to figure out, but there were like a couple concepts that I had to learn. And like through a week prior to that of using other people's stuff and using other people's stuff also to help me understand um, particles. So I just want to go through it from the view of a simple beginner and how I achieved this. So first, I made this, which, um, actually, let's, so yeah, this, which is very simple, uh, black and white with some um, Gaussian blur. So that, this was just like a rounded, tri a rounded rectangle and I applied Gaussian blur, so it just fades a bit. And yep, yeah, that just, that's all. I made that in Photoshop, that's uh, 512, no, 256. <laughs> you could make it smaller, you could make it bigger. Um, as you can see, at this, um, at this rate, like, if you get close to it, it's very blurry. If you're from, I'm gonna get the distance where you're usually gonna see this. Oh, there it goes again. It looks fine. I'm gonna say, like, 256 is probably perfect. Um... Someone, someone might contradict me, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Um, oh yeah, one thing you might notice is the um, naming convention. I'm typically really bad at that. So, like, even if you look at my challenge, day 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, then there's 1, 3, and 5 again. Um, I need to rename those, so there's three digits, since if I want to do this for 365 days. Okay, so yeah, this is the material. This is the material that our particle is going to be using. And next, uh, let's go particle. So this is the particle menu. It's fairly simple. If you click reti uh, required, here's my material that I just shown. Um, screw them in away from center. Um, let's say like if you do velocity, it would do something like this. Which looks really cool, but it's not the effect I'm going for. So. And like square, square actually like, if you look at the particles at the end, like on the floor, it's going to be a very noticeable square. Um, F of L away from center or facing camera position worked the best. Um, I just went away from center. I don't know if there's any downside to it. Don't really care either. Um, if I just make a new particle system. I'm just gonna show you what I added. Um, lifetime, um, I gave it 15 seconds lifetime as opposed to a one second because I want them to stick around for a little bit. Uh, initial size, I made it a uniform vector. I do believe it's also a uniform vector at the beginning. But right, I made it um, 30, 10 instead of uh, straight up 25. Uh, the way uniform vector, by the way, works, um, in case someone's not sure, it's, it's gonna make particles from within these values so on the X it's gonna be between 30 and 10 and then on the Y it's gonna be between 30 and 10 and um, yeah I still don't I'm not quite sure why that word that happens but hey, whatever so yeah that's that's how a vector works um, you typically get more options a constant is always gonna be the same size constant curve is gonna be um, a size depending on time so you could go like between one zero and one seconds and I'll use that as some other point I'll show you there um, vector uniform is a vector so it's between two things and it's gonna uh, typically randomly pick I think and vector curve is um, this but through time um, the one I'm still not sure. I'm still having an issue with the particle parameter. Um, I'm still work to gotta work on this one. All right. Um, next is initial velocity. 
Initial velocity is something I made. I changed a bit. Um, did I? I guess I didn't. Okay, initial velocity is zero, I guess. Mm, that does not seem right. Zero and 0 0.1. Oh, wait, out of value. Oops. Oh, there you go. Initial velocity. So, yeah, initial velocity at zero second is going to be 100. And then I want it to accelerate a bit afterwards so that some particles are going to overlap. So, at 0 0.1 second, I just made it 150. Um, the reason why it is a vector is because I want it to go from X to X. I want it to go on a 3D space instead of just um, one direction from the emitter. Because, uh, yeah, if I didn't do that, uh, it would go backward. It would only go forward and to the right and up. So it, yeah, it would only go in X, Y, and Z. It wouldn't go in minus X, minus Y, and minus Z. Um, yeah, okay, I can actually delete that one. All right, initial size, one. Yes, yeah. Wait, why do I have initial size twice? Actually, I can delete this one, oops. Acceleration through life. I want it to accelerate downwards um, throughout its life. So this is yeah. You can see the vector constant curve. So this is it's not a uniform. It's a constant. So there's only like plus x plus y plus well I went minus but yes. There's no vector in between. Well there's no uniform vector. So yeah, okay, so pretty much at 0 0.1 second, I want it to start going down more. So after the initial explosion, it's going to start dropping. And after 0 0.6 seconds, I want it to actually like, take a, like go way down. So I'm just going what, minus 1,000. So you can see it just, like most of his velocity, it doesn't lose velocity on the size, but it just drops. The Z velocity goes way down. So pretty much that's what's giving it its um, well, somewhat shitty physics. Um, I still need to figure out how to do that better. Uh, initial rotation, I just made a float uniform. So it's between 0 and 1, that way it is a random, it starts in a random direction, but in random rotation. Collision. Um, I just want it to freeze whenever it collides with something, that way it sticks on the ground or on the object, yeah, on the objects. So that way you can see um, right here. Like as soon as it collides with something, it just stops its rotation, it stops its movement, it stops everything. And you know what? It looks pretty freaking cool. Alright, um initial color seed. Um I don't know if I need seed. I just did it because I want it to be random, but it's not working the way I want it. Well, kind of. So, the way it's working right now, it's, um, as you can see, actually this is why. That's why the second burst is, um, is pink. But yeah, you can see, um, the first burst, you, uh, restart some. The first things are green, the second ones are blue-ish, like it's, a shade of blue it goes in between and then after that it is a shade of purple so it goes between these and then there's a second explosion that happens at some point I'm not sure why I think I should figure it out at some point but yeah there's a second explosion that just pink because I do believe the third value here all right and that's color um, oh, right, for color. Um, if you want the, your particle to actually be affected by color, um, something I figured out, you need to make sure that the emissive color is particle color. It's pretty simple, but if not, it's just going to be, like, gray or white. I don't actually remember which one it is. Um, yes, don't care. Okay, and initial rotation rate. 
gonna need to compile the shader real quick. All right, uh, initial rotation rate, that's just pretty much how much they turn. Um, I just made the float zero to one. So some of them was gonna go a bit faster, some are gonna go a bit slower. And yeah, that just makes it, while floating, it is still gonna rotate. Which is pretty cool. And pretty much that's how you make, um, that's how you make confettis. It is um, pretty easy. Uh, one thing I wanna work on is the colors. But there's not much at the moment. I still can't figure out how to do uh, colors better, and I can't do like with a material I could make an instance and then make it through that. But this one I can only do mix seated, which I haven't tried, and I don't actually feel like trying. All right, well, thanks for listening to today's quick vlog tutorial thing, and yeah, that's gonna be today's thing. And then I'm gonna be working on tomorrow's and Saturdays after this. Thanks for watching, people. Have a great day.